So I got a pool a heater here. Uh, we're wondering how much copper will be in here. Looks like it's pretty decent, but we'll see. There's a couple brass here. I'll take those off. Maybe a bleeding valve, maybe or something, or a clean out of some sort. Hmm. Brass there. And this brass, I guess, heat sensors here. People dirty brass, I would think. I've seen a few of these in spring cleanups, but they pulled the copper out of them. I saw three of them in a row in the, on one yard. And they someone pulled copper out of all of them, so... I found this one... Hmm, where did I find this one? It must have been a spring cleanup, I think. Yeah, it was spring cleanup. It's been sitting for a few months. A couple of months, anyways. Might as well pull the brass off. A little extra money here and there. It's actually um, almost like a sensor. It's got a spring mounted something there. It's hard to believe that they put actually plastic next to a burner. Hard to believe. There. Something there. I'll take these screws off here. Joe came by, wanted some flea market junk. So I gave him a bunch of stuff on credit. We have salt first, anyways, so we'll see. He took a bike, scooter, he took a big scooter I had in my garage like an e-bike but like a really big one I found it on a job just home 20 bucks scrap price what did I get for scrap wow wow quite hmm a stainless steel or something or aluminum never seen one like this actually different than what I had before The other one I have to take completely apart, it's just a nightmare. This one looks like it's really easy. garbage here I want to fly in my face. <laughs> hmm. Looks like it's all modular. I have to find an extension. Looks like it com comes right out. Four bolts and it comes out. Hmm. Gas line here on the side. Let's cut that off. You hold on, let me try find an extension. I need something that's quite long. Put hold a on. Extensions together. Where's my socket here? I'm telling me it's not going to fit now. There it is. Is it different size now? Ah, it's stripped or something. It's garbage. Total garbage. That's the problem with these tools, right? They're good for a while, and after a while, they just you got to trash them. 
just worth it enough of them. Okay, hopefully this will work now. Barely, but it did. So I still need a lot of different tools for stuff like this. Hmm. Yeah, extension would have been what I needed to see. I think that's another one here. Keep what I need maybe. So Joe took a van load of crap. Doing a garage sale at his buddy's house, so the maple ridge, so they can sit there, they can have it all day. Nah, there's no bylaw or anything about what you can do there. Some kind of bar. I think my bar is in my van. Oh, there's a plate on the side here. Just noticed it now. Probably give me what I need. Not really. Crop tools, I think this only work. for some reason okay see what this stuff and material inside of it looks toxic it's not asbestos but it looks bad right Have my tools in my van. Okay, we'll get the money out anyways. That's the main thing. I'll have to cut it up and weigh it and see what we get. Close this gate here.
The one I got was different than that. It had cast iron sides. It was really hard to strip. This one looks pretty easy. Somewhat easier. It's good for if you, if you have a kiln or something, you want high heat. I'm going to pull these out anyways. They're not asbestos, but scrap here is freak out thinking it is. But it is somewhat toxic. The one I had was just, oh, it was a nightmare. It had tons of the stuff in it. It looked really bad. I took it all out. Doing the garbage. There. Looks a little better. If I leave it in there, they're going to think it's asbestos because they don't know. But boilers have asbestos steel. Boilers do have asbestos, but these are the, the newer boilers. The old ones, asbestos is different. But this is like a high heat thing. Takes a lot of high heat. Okay, I need somewhere to cut this. Take it over there. I'm gonna put a fine blade on there. Something that goes slower and newer. Oh. Wow, for one hand it's pretty heavy. It's actually one piece of this thing. I almost think so if I want to take off the plastic. Some of that dust still there. Take the manifold off. Probably be better. There's a bee nest in right inside of it. Oh, there is a bee in there actually. It's coming out. See him? Okay, let me find the right. Hold on. Take, this, take these polystyrene steel nuts off. Rising the beef, not coming out or nothing, not aggressive. your hand. That's why the big ratchet one's way better. That stupid tool. Wish to be where are you? There you're free. Find a new home. Okay. So we have a little brass trinket here. I wonder why they put this here. Why is that? Is that like a, a frost plug, maybe? Probably not. It's some kind of clean odor. Maybe. I'm not sure. Big hunk of plastic. Looks like stainless steel. Let's see if we can hammer it. Oh, 
actually very heavy. But steel, no stainless. Just hammer it off. Got to really hit it hard. May may not come off. That's one thing. Not really budging. I might just, just cut it. Just hoping to get that off. It's probably soldered. Hmm. Let me try something here. I don't see much solder, if any solder, so... Doesn't even seem low, seems like there's some in there. Guess I have to cut it. It's not coming off easy. There's a lot of weight on this uh this one here actually, not just the copper, it's the uh stainless is heavy. Stainless steel or something, it's not cutting. Pretty heavy. Definitely a good payday on that one. We're not gonna wait yet. The one I had it had single ones like that, not in between. So it's quite a bit heavier. This is actually really heavy too. Hmm. Do this here. Probably stainless too. Yeah. Okay. Well, half a pound of probably this. This one's the perfect way, that one's a little too heavy. Look at one fell out by itself. How is that possible? Hmm. 
Like it's a little punch, maybe. Just a punch that's big enough. It's not just uh, get trying to get two cents of copper. It's getting this stainless steel clean. That's the money money shot too, right? Even that piece here is actually really heavy. Hey, hold on for a second. I'm gonna clean this dust off here. Hold on. Need right solid when I hit it. Could easily be solder on there too. Just don't see it. Looks there. It's too much vibration. Try something different. enough to release the pressure I'm hoping should it's 
still not super easy, but it just helped. Most guys will probably leave this, but stainless steel is valuable. Ridiculous. Okay. It's a good weights for stainless steel. Okay, we still have inside that thing there a couple things here. There's four screws here. You have some better grade wire mixed in there. I think we should uh, cut this off, or maybe I should just unscrew it, probably be easier. It's just a stupid tool. Once it skips, that's it. Uh, rusted big time. So obviously this one you could strip. It's all dirty. There's jets here also. Pull the jets off. A lot of value if you want to go into grabbing it all. Some guys will just take the main part and leave the rest of the stuff possibly, but you might as well do it if you're here. Stripped or something missing. They get sloppy after all, the old ones. That's why people throw them away. Good ones should just work, and when it's no good, you'll see when it's too loose, right? You're loosening bolts when it's loose, and it creates damage to the edge here. And it never wants to grip again. Something like what I'm doing now. But if you start taking these little trinkets here, you know, you take a few here, a few there, and then you're gonna have, you know, one pound, two pounds, then ten pounds, twenty. Believe me, it adds up fast. Believe it or not. Looks like this barbecue stuff. Look at that. I got a pound there. You know, I got two pounds in now. Ice grips. 
you don't have one of these, you better get one because that's your best tool for strip bolts or nut heads. Not that good. Then if you get desperate, you can do that. Right? So we'll take this off now. I'll have to probably put this in a vise first. And now you're looking at HMS here. They pay a lot better. Smell the gas coming out now. It doesn't turn. Work. It's very heavy that thing. Throw this in the steel. That's steel. Let's get back to here. It's aluminum line here. It's right on the burner. I mean the burner is a little bit hard to get to but there's a few pieces of brass on there but I'm not gonna bother got to dismount too many things so I'm gonna call that one done Okay, stand by. I'm gonna go get a few tools ready and I'll take that other thing apart. We'll see how much aluminum we get out of this, also. Okay, hold on. Okay. Put the uh, valve here. A lot of times I'll just sell these as is, but th this should be easier when the screws come out. Sometimes the screws don't come out. It's a problem. This one here still. This torque's mixed in here. They go torque so that people don't can't uh, um, sabotage these things because uh, you start uh, playing with dials and stuff. You know you could uh, you know kill someone, right? Doesn't uh, you know shut off or something or too much gas comes and and then the gas pilot turns off, keeps putting gas out. So that's why there's all sorts of safety things on there. be 
yoke. Different size now. Should separate. Okay, so we got a clean one here. Just don't know about this little piece here. Yeah, it's steel. This smells like pure gas. This one I'm just gonna smash it off. Knockout plug here. One smaller could also be metric. Okay, well, that one doesn't work. Gasket. It's supposed to come out too. I'm gonna find a socket for it. Hard to grab. And grab my sockets may be too fat. Okay, those will work. Sockets are here. Nope. Huh, no. Nope. Okay. I feel a big screwdriver will work. Well, not really. You have to go a little deeper. That's why I don't strip these things sometimes. You know, right socket or something. Almost done here. A couple minutes here. There it is. Normally I'll put it dirty, but something the video full strip out. It'd be nice to see exactly what we're getting, right? 
case you want to buy one of those or something, you know. Some of those guys may want to sell it to you. We got a, also, we got uh, some wire here too. I don't see it's too rusty, the bolts here. Piece here, it's a little bit tight. So I'm gonna hammer it through. Get the wire here. It's aluminum. This goes here. We have a little bit of wire here. So we'll just throw the number two copper. Okay guys, you got uh, your pencils ready. So we get, we're gonna start with stainless steel, clean, 10 pounds, I don't know, 6.3, so 6.3 pounds of stainless. We'll do aluminum next. Two pounds aluminum, it's dollar sixty, and this is what three dollars for four sixty already here. And then we have some brass, pound of brass, maybe? point eight of a pound of brass. So let me put this on here. We have this wire here, point eight. Three tenths quarter of a pound of wire. This one's got a little bit of a material here, but it's all brass, so you can just tell it the way it is. It's not too dirty. Now, copper. What are you waiting for? Copper score. Twenty pounds. Point six. Twenty point six. So, twenty and a half pounds. So this is a. Uh, well, that's worth a lot of money actually. They told me, uh, that's what they told me, number two, I think it was 436 times 
$89. This is $89 right there. $89. So I would say easily we got $90. Just over $90. Because this could go down, could go up, could, you know. But $92, $93. Not bad value for that thing. If you can buy it for $20, you're making money, right? I don't think it'll sell less because if they don't shred, you know, most likely it will go and shred for what, maybe 100 pounds. So, so yeah, if you give them 20 bucks, they'll be happy. And you're still going to make 60 bucks. That's a good return for your time, right? I could do this in, without doing a video, I could do it in like 15 minutes, right? Um, that's it. So we're looking at about $93. That's number two copper, uh, miscellaneous aluminum. There's old sheet and cast, uh, a low-grade high wire, brass, and stainless steel clean. Not bad, guys. Well worth it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day.